So as I mentioned before, Zen Convert is a really cool tool. It allows you to convert physical servers or desktops into virtual servers or desktops. It also allows you to convert virtual servers or desktops of another format, for instance, Hyper-V or maybe Zen with a different flavor or maybe KVM, maybe vSphere into a flavor of Zen server that Zen server can understand. And at some point, Zen Convert will be able to be used as a V to C, which means a virtual to cloud and move your virtual machines into the cloud as needed. Now, in addition to all that, Zen Convert can be used to create provisioning server V disks. Now, if you guys have been following the train signal Zen Desktop 5 that we've created, you'll see that we've used Zen Convert in those training videos to create provisioning services, virtual disks as well. So there are two types of virtual appliances that can be, you know, sort of deployed using Zen Convert. You have the XVA version one, that's the Zen virtual appliance ver version one, and those have multiple files, right? So they're not a single instance, as is the case with XVA version two, which is a single file archive that you can use for Zen virtual appliances. Zen virtual appliances version one are a combination of ova.xml which defines the properties of a zen virtual appliance and then you have the dha folder which is a compressed folder that contains the virtual disks now what i want to do now is i want to switch over to a machine that i have prepared we're going to go through install zen convert and i'm going to show you how you can use zen convert to convert that virtual machine onto Zen server as a virtual machine. So take it from a physical onto a virtual. All right, so this is a Windows Server 2008 machine that we have prepared. I've downloaded the Zen Convert binaries from mycitrix.com. You can go on there, download the Zen Convert latest version. I downloaded the 64-bit edition, which is for the operating system that I have. Now, you'll notice that the installation of Zen Convert is extremely straightforward. There's really nothing special about it. Click on next here. Accept the EULA, next, default location, install. I'm gonna click on finish. And now we're gonna go to the start menu. We're gonna click on Zen Convert to launch the program. Now, the first thing you are going to be presented with is, well, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to convert the existing virtual machine or the existing physical machine that, that this is running on onto, for instance, Zen server? If that's the case, you can click on next. Now, your options down here is you can essentially create a Zen server virtual hard disk. So you're not creating the VM itself with all of its configurations or anything like that. You are just creating the virtual hard disk out of this particular VM. So it's kind of the disks without the configuration file so there is no vm object that gets added to zen center and then you have open virtualization format which is the ovf package now this is what i was telling you about when we were talking during the presentation format with zen convert now you can create the ovf format which is the version 2 which allows you to have a single instance of this virtual appliance that you're trying to convert or you can create a provisioning services virtual disk for the purposes of our example, we're going to go ahead and create the actual VM and its virtual disk. And to do that, we're going to select the first option. We're going to click on next. Now you're presented with, okay, I've detected that on this particular virtual machine or physical machine, there is a C drive partition. These are the stats for this particular disk. What do you want to do? How do you want to convert it when it gets to the destination? Do you want to convert it the way it is? Do you want to tweak the size maybe of the virtual disk that you're converting? This is your opportunity to change the disk size. Maybe you want to add more disk. Maybe you want to change how much free space you have. This would be your opportunity to do so. I'm going to leave it at default and click on next. And now we need to select the Zen server where we want to point this to. So I'm going to go 192.168.1.12. I'm going to give it the root username and the password that we use during the installation of Zen server. From a workspace perspective, I'm just going to point it to my local C drive. This is essentially like a scratch pad until it completes the installation or the conversion of this particular machine into a Zen server virtual machine. Now, once you're done, we're going to click on next. And that's going to go through and validate your credentials by you know, authenticating them. 
Once you've authenticated, now you have the option of selecting which storage repository do you want to place this on and what is the name of the virtual machine. So for instance, I'm going to call this DC01 and I'm going to place it on the local storage storage repository. I'm going to click on next. This is sort of a summary of what's going, what's going to happen, what the conversion process is going to be like. You can log the names of converted files if you want to do so. I'm just going to go ahead and click on convert to get the process started. Now, this will take a little bit of time depending on, you know, several factors within the environment, network speed, congestion, etc. So this will take a little bit of time to complete because it's converting this machine into a Zen server virtual machine. All right, now that the Zen convert is complete, you can most certainly look at the log if you know there was any errors or anything like that, or you can click on finish to complete. Now that the installation or now that the conversion of this machine has been converted into Zen server, let's go ahead and go into Zen Center and see what happened there. So you'll notice here that the DCL1 server that we just finished converting has been converted into a virtual machine running on Zen server. Let's go ahead and power it on and make sure that everything's okay. I'm going to right click on it, click on start, and let's switch over to the console. And that, 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 that's all there is to it, folks. We've just converted our server, desktop, whatever you want it to be, into a virtual machine and we've successfully imported it into Zen server. All right, let's go ahead and switch back to our presentation and recap what we've learned.